Uh, sore. Uh, these are the first, uh, actually, never mind. I get kicked all the time. You know, it's, I'm used to it. And, you know, people shouldn't do it anymore. So, um, but uh, no, it feels feels pretty good. Just, you know, get that uh, that feeling in your body after a 15 minute fight, which you know, lets you know you're alive. You seem to be specializing in these really tight two round scraps back and forth, split decisions. You know, it's a tough one. Um, give us the emotions on the win and, and the, uh, the experience of getting in there and having to go the distance at the heavyweight level. You know, it's such a tough sport against such another big guy like that. Well, uh, prior prior to signing with the UFC, and even my first UFC fight, I've never been out of the halfway through the second round. So I'm, I think I'm going to get back to trying to get done in the first round because. 15 minutes for you know heavyweights. I don't, I don't like it too much. Um, with the win, you know, I was, I was happy to get the win. Um, like I said on the way over here, like uh, when they started talking about when they were doing the judging, they gave 29, 20, 28 to uh, Daniel and 30, 27 for me. Anyone who saw my fight in November, well, I was getting, I thought I was going to get a flashback. <laughs> you know, having three rounds go my way and two towards him, but um, it was nice. Daniel's a heck of a fighter, and he's kind of the same style as me. Um, you can hit him, and he's going to not be faced you know it's a I was hoping maybe I'd be the first one to you know KO TKO him but you know he's a heck of, he's a tough you know game, tough fighter what's the game plan coming into a fight like that you know he's gonna be there for three rounds you know, you know he's got a chin what was the game plan coming in I wanted to I wanted to get more of my I wanted to get more takedowns in you know I only got that one uh at the end of the round and the middle of the third there uh, I was trying to spin around on that second one but you know two Two heavyweights were sweaty. We got it was slipped right off. Um, but um, I wanted to use, I wanted to kind of wear him down a little bit, um, not to take anything away. I think watching a bunch of his fights, I thought his gas take was maybe a little susceptible. So I wanted to carry him, have him being bigger than him. I wanted to carry him. I wanted to pressure him a little bit and kind of wear him down. And I think about in the second round, second round that was kind of wearing and tearing. I heard him a couple of times doing some upping and puffing against the cage. So. Um, that was kind of where my our game plan was at. I wanted, uh, looking back now, you know, in your fight, I was thinking I'd need to get a little more offensive on the cage. Um, I didn't want to be a standing out and open with him. I wanted to be in a clinch against the cage. Um, I definitely could I could have been doing more against the cage, though, too. But um, I'm happy with the win. Given this fight from Saul, it's two top 15 guys in UFC rankings. It consolidates it there. And as far as the question is, what do you want next? Are you looking for that, that guy around the top 10? Is there, is there a couple of names out there that you want to test? Yeah, um, you know, uh, just came out recently. You know, uh, I've been pretty quiet about stuff all the time. You know, stuff always lines up where it does. Um, but I'm not. I'll go out, go out there and fight anybody. I might not win, but I'll go out there and fight. You know, that's what I'm here to do. Um, but um, right now, there's a lot of heavyweights in the top ten, all the way from champ ten that are do have fights and i'm going to stay ready if someone falls off i'll be more than happy to climb in and fill a spot whether it's you know from one two three four i don't care that's uh, everyone will expect me to lose so it should be easy win for the other guy right <laughs> um three in a row is this was a little much i love i love the experiences and like i've been saying i, I get a little more I think, the, I think the European crowds like me a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know. Um, so I like coming here. The crowds, the people, everything are always uh, always cheering me on and always giving me, a, you know, a good time. Um, uh, saying that, uh, I think my parents and a bunch of my friends would like, <laughs> would like a fight stateside again, you know, someplace where they don't have to get a passport to come see me. <laughs> but, um, no, I like coming to Europe, and I'm – if I was a betting man, I'd probably assume I'm going to be in Europe again here pretty quick. <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know, what do we got? Uh, crap, what is the date today? March. It was my birth. It's my birthday week, by the way. So uh, I forgot that. Um, you know, end of, end of May, mid May, beginning of June. Like to get uh, get a fight done. You know, right at the beginning of the summer. Um, I think I got one fight left on this contract, so we'll see if we get an extension right now or if they're going to want me to fight, and then, then see. So how are you going to celebrate the birthday? Um, well, I, can't, I haven't found a bathtub big enough for me to do an ice bath, so I guess I'll have to, uh, I guess I'll just probably have to pack my bags and lay down on the couch, or lay down on the bed. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, behind the, the behind the scenes, you know, um, with everybody, like I get along with them great. They, they seem to get along with me, um, and I don't want to do anything to mess that up, right? You know, if you know the career down the line, I want to maybe go start looking. But right now, it's uh, you know, I'm not in the you know 32, so I got a couple years left, you know, of really developing into a fighter that I'm not where I'm not at, uh, that I'm not up to yet. Um, so I want to stay in the organization where you do have the best fighters in the world, you know. So. Until that road comes, I want to stay right here.